Well, guys, holy crap, I cannot believe I done this. So I screwed up big time loading this boat. I'm lucky I didn't get somebody killed, honestly. And uh, I guess once we get there, I mean, we're within seven miles now. There's no need, in, I mean, it made it this far. So uh, once we get there, I'll show you guys what I've done. Golly, bum, I'm so lucky I didn't destroy this boat. So, uh, welcome back, guys. Yeah, we had uh, a baby copperhead. A little baby copperhead over here next to Bryce's camper. Bryce and Darla's camper. And uh, they had to kill it earlier. And the thing about a baby copperhead is my... I used to live in Coker Creek. I grew up in Coker Creek, which is up in, on the mountain. I can't tell you how many of my friends and family and stuff... Hold on, let's check the oil in it. Got bit by a baby copperhead. They just come in the house after they're born. My grandma, my nana one time got bit on the foot and a baby copperhead, it can't control its venom. So it'll, it'll bite you and just fill you up with venom. We got, I wish you had a step in your bumper. Now I can open it. Oh, my arm's hurt. I'm skiing. Nice clean motor. Be nice clean motor, boy. Hold on, I'm a coming. Plus carpet in here, huh? I don't like these deep seats. Yeah, I know it's aggravating. Say I can't. Flip it over. Sitting on pool. Yep. You ready to rock and roll? Yeah. You really gonna go to sleep on me? My neck hurts. Too. My neck hurts. You just mowed one big yard today. Yeah, but I slept on it. Slept on your neck. Yeah, I fell asleep while I was like this. You gotta twist it as it goes in. There you go. Look at that Very clean your hands before you get in that truck. All right, let's do some check-ins. Where's the coolant? Uh, coolant looked like it was full. Yeah, it's full. Coolant's full. You can go ahead. Hey, that one's that little baby copperhead. No, that's a wire loom. Yeah, I don't want to get that one. No, I don't want to even see a copperhead. Fire it up. Turn on all the lights. That's crazy. Whew. My wife walked out the door and she was like, ah. She seen it first? Yeah, she was like, Bryce, there's a snake. I come out, she's standing on my truck tire. I'm like, oh gosh. She ain't gonna wanna live here much long. <laughs> Dude, I hate snakes. and then um, it works pretty good. Whew. Nice 
nice little stay at home for a day or two. Guys, we bought a CB for this thing this weekend. And I cannot wait to get it in here. It's gonna be awesome. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> What'd you do? My phone fell out of my toe. Yeah? My little toe too. Oh man, the little toe, that sucks. We'll stop at the Love to get some fuel. And then uh, rock and roll. I ain't gonna haul this thing over to the shop, the fuel tank. You ready? Logs are done. Everything's secured, loaded, locked, and down, and truck. Good to go, trailer good to go. Let's get out of here. I am sore as to be though. My arms are killing me. Braxton decided to take me out surfing this weekend. I'm getting off the new loves. I'm really happy with this new loves. It's in the perfect spot. It's right in between here and Knoxville. I don't have to go to the Lenore City Loves, it's way up on the hill. I don't like, especially taking an oversize up through there. I just don't like, you get that little, uh, I always get the over height sign getting going crazy over there too. So, uh, me and that bridge just does not get along and the oversize, or the over height sign does not get along. So this place is just perfect. What do you think about it, Braxinator? I like it. You getting tired on me? What do you think about Daddy back in the truck again? It's been for quite a bit lately, ain't it? We have been putting some miles on this old Peterbilt. This truck, that other trucks. We've been in a bunch of different trucks lately. Alright, so we're in Loudon, Tennessee. We're gonna jump off here. Oh yeah, all you oversized guys, you cannot get off exit 72 right now coming south because they are it's a major construction ask me how I know we found that out on the way home doing brakes all right here she is the new love they got a nice campground you can come here and camp you can bring your RVs, you got hookups, sewer, all that stuff. You also got guys with little trailers that I guess likes to camp around too. I'm not sponsored by Loves, but hope to be soon. So if any of you guys work for the Loves, let them know. Gentry and Sons is not against being sponsored by Loves. We would love to uh, talk some Loves game. I know, it's because they know I was coming. Sit up. Oh, Tim's on his way. Let's get out of the way. Him and Brax, we want to give them whatever fuel spot they want. That's how they, they when they know you're coming, Brax, they they know the deal. That guy's blinding me with this spotlight. Holy crap. What is going on? He turned on. Is that a light bar or something? That's a light bar. Wow. He would so kindly turn that off. It's blinding me, Brax. I can't see nothing. Yeah. I think it's just a level one. Yeah. Yeah, we just a little bit tall. So what I like about our loves card, so whatever we pay here local for tires. Uh, we pay it all over the road like we don't pay for service calls any of that stuff if you have a loves account and you get a service whatever that service would cost you at home you pay on the road 
If there's one thing I do like about my Lowe's account. And we also have the stickers that go in your windshield of your truck. So when you pull in, you don't have to do all the whole card thing. It just automatically kicks on. And you fuel, and when you pull out, it kicks off. i tell you one thing I loved about hanging out with Dad when I was your age was fueling up the truck. We had quite a bit of fuel on. We didn't. I just. You we know, don't have to deal with it tomorrow. I like to get up there and get back. Alright, guys, we got 190 gallons of fuel. Let's see what kind of fuel miles that is. See if our gauge is accurate. No. That loves cups. Well, we can't be a truck driver that loves cups, can you, Brad? You said a lot of them. Yeah. All right, we got 1167 miles to 190 gallons. Let's see what that is. Right, let's do this thing, brother man. Good morning, guys. It's game day. Time to go deliver this big old monster. Here we go down on Eagle, my own we want to ride a speed limit down this mountain too. Especially early in the mornings. If you ain't riding the speed limit down this mountain, they will get you boys. They will get you. It's not a steep grade. It's only like 5 or 6 miles. So it's easy to maintain your speed. Guys, this is a 64 bypass. So I'm trying to stay out of Alabama. So Alabama permits um, their office is closed this week, or not this week, but today. So their office being closed today, I knew I couldn't get a permit. So I had to get a blanket permit for Tennessee. That way I could just choose a route that I've seen fit, and 64 is that route. I'm gonna take this over to, uh, Oh, where am I taking this to? 64 to Savannah, Tennessee, and then I'm gonna uh, shoot down from Savannah down to Luke, Tennessee, Lukey, uh, which is where the boat will be going. So there's a lake there called Pickwick Lake, and that is where it's going to go. I was like, because everybody in the world's asked me, like, where in the heck are you? take that Tennessee to a lake big enough and I don't know maybe big week is big enough I've never been there but evidently it is we gotta get some power on this thing boys we've been climbing and going down hills all day long you can see my fuel miles is at 5.9 and I've been baby this thing I'm talking really easy oh down the mountain we go down the mountain we go we need some straight pipes it is nice to be able to talk on the phone and hear myself think Peterfield come up to the very big straights on her Cool. Alright, them 
Braddock's found some place to grab a bite. Quick bite to eat. And something to drink real quick. Well, God, we stopped at Rick's and got us a couple hot dogs. We were going to get some barbecue, but we thought it might not be a great idea to have it in the truck. Brack got him a new phone holder. Oh, crap. I hate when I forget to turn the jacks off. Let's go deliver this bad boy. We're almost there. Ready to do some sailing? Oh, we better hang out here. This truck's pulling out of here. Right, come on, honey. Climb his hill. Can't let that log truck get up to speed on us. Thing's got a good radiator in it. It has definitely stayed pretty cool. I've never had the fan kick on. That big Pete. Standing cab. Sucker screaming at it. Yeah. Woo guys talking about stressful we just went through this little town and i'm telling you what it is um i'll never complain about other state drivers tennessee has just got the most aggressive don't give a crap kind of drivers that's it's ridiculous i hate you know to even admit that i live here and love this town or love this state but man why the heck do you gotta drive like that And we had to do a detour because there's a, an 11 wide limit coming through town. I guess they were doing construction. But we made it. We're back on the four lane. Woo! Man, that was stressful. They get so close to that dang mass. It's just, it's kind of scary. All right, Brax, this is our last road. We should be there in about 15 minutes, unload this thing and get back to Tennessee because dad and them are overwhelmed with having to load and work on trucks. So I gotta get back and help them. We got a good five, six hours back home. Right, you're gonna do something about your allergies, buddy. Yeah. Can't mow if you're allergic to grass. We have to get you some kind of mask or something. We should be there in the next, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, hopefully. Nothing else crazy pops up. Guys, holy crap, I cannot believe I done this. But um, I just realized just a few minutes ago, I screwed up big time loading this boat. I'm lucky I didn't get somebody killed, honestly. And uh, I guess once we get there, I mean, we're within seven miles now. There's no need, in, I mean, it made it this far. So uh, once we get there, I'll show you guys what I've done. Golly, bum, I'm so lucky I didn't destroy this boat or somebody killed. Woo! I feel like an idiot right now. All right, we're hitting the dam, baby. Woo! Crossing the Tennessee River, boys. They got a lock you go through. Man, this is awesome. Just glad the boat didn't fall off. Need to shut up before we, until we get there. Yeah. Oh, man. Look how pretty that is, Brax. Wow. That's a big old TVA dam right there, boys. Boys and girls. Hee hoo! I've never seen it, dude. Man, I love my job. It gets my adrenaline going. Get to see all this beautiful scenery. Oh, look at that. 
I guess. Look, they got water stored in there. Oh, it's probably just like a wall to keep it from washing out or something. Man, now I see why this boat's going on this lake. Look how big that lake is. You can sail on this lake. Heck yeah. safe harbor they give me they told me a lot now i guess i passed it up yeah if you go back up that water right there when you go down off in that bottom when you start up that little grape on that store there's a place on the left called ready t's right across the road from it where you're going yeah boy i appreciate that all right buddy good good ride have a good one thank you buddy you too you're looking good all right now be safe we'll see I like it. I like it. I like it. Good people. I like it when you get some help like that brother driver. That means a lot. About to see some nice rides in here, Barracks boy. Oh, yeah, this is him. I'm gonna make his corner without dragging her trailer. 
I'd say a little loaded with that big, big bad booger right there. What do you think? I think so too. Got a nice wide spot to unload. Yeah. I didn't like those broken wraps. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm sure. Where do they put it? Alright, let's, let's unbuckle this bad girl and get it off his truck. What do you think? All right, guys, we made it. So I'll show you guys what I forgot to do. That ain't going nowhere. I completely forgot to smack these straps and say it ain't going nowhere. Guys, I take safety pretty serious. And that right there will cause you a bad, bad, bad trip if you do not do that. So, I mean, lesson learned. Thank God nothing happened. I always smack them straps. Always. This thing, that ain't going nowhere. All right, guys, this is where crap gets sketchy. If you used to, they'd unload with that lift. Yeah, right there into the store. Um, I brought a big formula in here it's been a couple of years ago uh, and it was like 65 foot long oh that's some goes there yeah usually with me um it was a 65 footer and i had to do the same thing then as i'm doing now i don't know why they don't unload them up here and take them down but um you gotta go down here and make a big 90 degree turn into the in there it's a nightmare Boat ain't got no straps on it now. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm afraid it's cheap, but it's not good out. Now, that, that big forklift? No, there's a big man lift down here. They'll stick it straight in the water, probably. Huh. What about the sails? He'll stick him on it and all that. He'll have to outfit it. See how them sailboats in there all the sails sitting and standing up? Yeah. Put this on the bottom. I wonder how long it takes to put one of them sails together. Uh, he'll be sailing by tomorrow, I'm sure. Who owns it? Huh? Who owns it? That guy in the green shirt. Oh, he will. Look at that belt. There's a formula there. Oh. Yeah. That's a little shorter. Yeah, I think I remember one that was shafted that down. Yeah, remember it was uh, white. It was white and blue, but it was more. Uh, it was a different white color. Yeah. I think we're driving a rooster. Yep. Rooster with a big triple axle. Look at how they lift that boat up. Crazy. Wow. I bet that'd be a spin set ball. Here we go, Brad. I see. This is super sketchy down here, especially now that we got the straps off of it. Yeah. Look at that big boy. That's a big yacht.
बे वाले हाँ गार्मन आई थिंक पापा फायर साइज में होता है उस Pretty similar. Yeah. I'd hate for a friend to lose his brakes and go in there. Say that, that. It's air brake, Dad. It's air brake. Yeah. Uh, that could be for a boat, could be for a golf cart. It looks like six bolts. Those are sixes. That's a big girl right there. Oh, a big carver. Yeah, this is a boat lift right here. Alright, we got the straps changed out. Get this thing off its high dollar keel. I think it's pretty smooth, that. Yeah. What's the uh, what's the heaviest you've lifted with this thing? Sir. What's the heaviest you've lifted with this? A lot. A lot. I don't even know, man. This thing's a pretty old machine here. It's been with it for a while. Is it? It's pretty smooth with it. Huh? Yeah, it's been a bit of bigger. Hold on. Seventy-five pound adders. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, shorter than the normal yeah. 100 times. But yeah, that's it. You drop this. that back car, we'll roll right out of here. Yep. Yeah. You get over that block, you need me to move it. That's the owner of this boat. One we can deliver them with no scratches and no danger. Oh, oh man. Alright, here's the inside of this bad boy. Got a bedroom in here. You got another bedroom there, a bathroom. And this thing is beautiful. Shower. 
all your breakers, your radio state, your station area. I guess you could work here too. And it's actually laid out pretty good in there. I didn't expect to see that much room. What's your, uh, like it's got all autom automatic builds and all that in it? You also, you also have a manual build just in case. Beautiful. No. Well, guys, that's where I get off. Well, sir, congratulations. Well, thank you. I'm glad to... it's just it's just money I'm spending. Why you congratulate? <laughs> yeah, at least it's good money to spend, though. Yeah, congratulate me. Feeling over 15 degrees and feeling out of wind. That's when I feel congratulated. How about that? Well. Think of me when you're. I will. I'm gonna move this boat because my daughter, my daughter wants me to move it to the Chesapeake Bay so she can sail it. Well, if you need a transport, Chris knows a guy. Thank you, sir. <laughs> no problem. Even for a Tennessee ball. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> If you need to keep that, you can. No, I got a bunch of the car. Okay. Like Just for the car. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I'll go up here and start getting ready. All right, guys. We are done. Zero damages, zero scratches. Super happy. If I get something back out of here, we'll be all right. Yeah. I like to go all the way there. That's the perfect size. It's small. That looks. the hardest part of this job the crap it ain't the hardest it's the crappiest part of this job is this you gotta put all the carpet up and roll all your straps up 
Best part taking care of your equipment. I've got some carpet. I still got a full box, that's good. And then my cut pieces, I'll usually throw this stuff away. This is because it's been strapped and stretched. And then I've got some fire ants. Ugh. The blankets, gotta fold them up. Some of these bars, like I'm having some pocket issues where my pockets are not working right. So I gotta work on them when we get back. So some of these ain't wanting to come out, so I'm just gonna strap them in. Oh man, I forgot a piece of carpet. You get all your zip ties off, put all your bars up, take all your flags down. I've been cleaning up for about an hour and a half now. A couple more straps to go. I've done rolled up about 30 of them. Got these. If you don't do this, you will lose straps and pins and carpet. And it sucks you gotta get all your carpet back up again. This is part of the job though. When you deliver a load of boats. You can't just throw all your crap on your trailer and go. You got to clean it up and organize it. That way, for the next person, if you have a company, the next person don't have to deal with a dirty trailer when they go to load it. Her dad don't have to deal with a dirty trailer when he goes to load it, or me. And it's clean and organized. All right, she's cleaned up. I got three poles that I got to take out when I get home and fix some pockets. But other than that, we're good to go. I'm supposed to go down to Alabama and pick up another boat, but they're not ready. And uh, I asked them when they were going to be ready, and they're saying Thursday or Friday, and I was like, man, I can't stay down here until three or four days waiting on that. So I guess I'll have to drive back to that, and it's about a five-hour drive. So either that or find something else to haul it. There just ain't any boat haulers out here anymore. Everybody's either tired or quit because all the insurance and the bull crap that goes along with it. Tell you what, if things don't change, there ain't gonna be any boat haulers left. I mean, it's it really just ain't really worth it anymore with all the risk and liability and the insurance. But I must try to stick it out as long as I can and see just if it turns around. Man, it is it's a tough, tough game out here right now. But I freaking love it. That's the problem with it. I'll do it. It ain't about the money for me. It's just because I really enjoy doing this. Whew. I can sit at home and just put a driver in this truck. I just ain't got it in me. I really want to do it. So I enjoy, I definitely enjoy island boats. Let's see if we can't get out of here. I got to do my log book. See if I can get cold off and then head to the house. Well, guys, I was supposed to stop in here and pick up a, a sea ray. I'm going to put it off and come back and get it probably in the next week or so. That's the game plan anyway. Uh, we are in, I guess this will be, we're uh, headed towards Huntsville. We're in Alabama. We're headed back to the house until we get this stoop digger down. We made it. We made it home. Just got the wagon unhooked. May have parked it a little crooked. I don't know. Maybe that trailer's crooked. Maybe that's why it's crooked. Mine's straight and that one's crooked. Either way, we made it. Let's drop this thing down. Make sure my fenders ain't gonna be hit. Go to the house. Drop him airbag now. Alright. Ain't a better feeling in the world than lifting them airbags back up after you just dropped your wagon. Alright, we're going to the house. We're gonna call it a night.
get in here tomorrow and get some work done. Looks like the old international's been cut up. Heck yeah, boys, that means the motor's out. That's going to finish off this video. I appreciate you guys trucking with us this week. Me and Brax finally back home. We got some work to do, and then we got a big sea ray to go on. So uh, we'll probably take you guys along with us, and we'll see you on the next video. Love you guys. See you later.